What's up guys, it's Stephen Freeborn here, and today I wanna to talk to you guys about uh, a question, I guess. I'll, I'll, I'll say it like that. A question that I actually stole from, or I didn't steal the question, but the concept. I actually stole from a, a man named Dan John. He's uh, in the fitness world, or maybe not even in the fitness world, but in the strength conditioning realm. He's a super respected coach, um, been doing it for a long time, and has a lot of insights and wisdoms to offer both from a strength conditioning perspective focused on athletes, but also a lot that can apply to just your everyday general population uh, person like yourself who's trying to you know, lose weight, stay in, stay in good shape, be able to run with their kids, you know, age gracefully, all that good stuff. But the, the, his concept kind of led me to a question that I use all the time both personally um, not only just in fitness, but within within life. But I use it a lot with my with with clients to help kind of reorient ourselves whenever we feel like we're not we're not going in the direction we want to be going in. And that's basically the um, the question is super simple. All it is is do your actions match your goals? And why I really love this question is it really forces you to take a, a introspective look into what exactly your actions are, and then what exactly your goals are. And then you're able to take an honest look to see, okay, if my stated goal is to lose weight, then what are my actions? Am I exercising every day? No or yes. Am I focusing on my diet every day? No or yes. Um, am I making attempts to get to bed on time? No or yes. Am I sleeping enough? Am I drinking enough water? All those things we know we need to do to, to have success at losing weight. Am I taking action on those things? If the answer is yes, great. Keep going. If the answer is no, that's when the real, the real work starts because then we have to evaluate whether you're not taking action because your stated goal really isn't your goal, that's not really what you want, or if it's because you, you're just, you're not approaching the taking action part in the proper way or the, the way that best suits you. And then that helps us really figure out, okay, are you being truly honest with yourself about what you want? Or do you just need help figuring out how to actually get what you want? And what's surprising is nine times out of 10, what people say they really want isn't in fact the case. They don't really want to lose weight. What they want to do is they want to feel better about themselves. And that doesn't have a whole lot to do with losing weight, which is just kind of an interesting rabbit hole to start diving down, but the first the first step is to begin asking yourself that question. And I think it's a good question to have in your toolbox. So the question is, do your actions match your goals? From there, you know, you can go down the, 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 the decision tree. Yes, no, okay, if it's yes, then let's keep doing what we're doing. If it's no, let's figure out, okay, is, that, is the goals the problem or your strategies to achieve that goal the problem? Um, so yeah, I hope I hope that's a tool that you can use in the future. I hope you find it beneficial. Uh, I know it's super simple, not super sexy, but uh, simple, simple often works. If you guys have any questions, please send me an email, Stephen at FreebornTrainingSystems.com. You can find me on any of the social media. Appreciate you guys to follow me there. Um, give me some support, and I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.